going on YouTube? Hope you're having a great day. I am chilling outside in the snow. It's coming down a little bit here, which means it is getting cooler and cooler. My big guy's rope is like frozen into a, it's not even a rope anymore. He probably still wants it though. Anyways, <laughs> so I want to share with you my high bar paused squats from Jeez, it's cold out here from a couple days ago um, now I did it because I'm trying to focus on weak point training even in my squats and really the pause squats in general keeps you in this bottom position which allows you to focus on your breathing in the in the hole they call it which is when you're in the bottom <laughs> um, so I've been focusing on just pausing at the bottom and I'm gonna do some box squats next, which is basically you're sitting on a box, so you, you sit back onto a box and you squat back up off of it. Um, but right now I'm doing the pause and I'm doing it with a high bar position. So I have the bar resting on my high traps uh, as opposed to kind of lower on my traps. Um, now what this does is keep me more upright. So what I'm trying to do in general with my training right now is focus on my anterior chain, which is the front, okay? Keeping it straightforward. Um, the posterior chain, the back, which is like uh, your your big movers in your back, your your hamstrings, your glutes. Uh, you know that's starting from the bottom bottom of the anatomy, working your way up. Uh, you got your your lats uh, and your and your trapezius, your all that. Okay, so I'm focusing on my anterior chain training, which is like my abdominals, my chest, um, my just core. So it's basically abdominals. And, and, and getting down into my quads, which is, a, so a high bar paused squat is a quad dominant type of movement. It still uses the, the glutes and the other uh, posterior, you know, uses a shit ton of muscles, okay? But it is dominant in, it keeps you upright, makes you use your core, breathe deeply, pause in the bottom, and then the high bar position keeps me more upright as opposed to a low bar, which basically means that I'm, I'm bending over and the bar position is behind me I'm almost more more hunched forward and, and with a low bar squat you're lifting your back up um, as opposed to a high bar you're kind of just going down spreading the knees out as you're seeing in this in this example uh, in this training session and then you're coming back up in, in that upright position as opposed to having to throw your back up a little bit just a little bit with the low bar squat uh, so that's it that's all I want to share with you for now <laughs> getting a little cold here and uh, my big boy even wants to go inside. He's kind of like chilling at the door. Where is he? He's over there. Boop. <laughs> so I'm going to head in and um, stay tuned this week for some really cool content. I went on a little trek recently and I filmed some stuff. I vlogged it. So I'll share that with you. Thanks for watching. See you again soon. Bye.